everybody, welcome back to the channel and another episode of the Battle for Astrakhazi. The first static defense captured a clan base out on Astrakhazi 6, and as they started loading up all of the supplies onto our dropships for shuttle back to Astrakhazi 3, they were attacked by the rest of the clan force that we didn't know existed. So our dropships have just taken off the first load of supplies, and uh, over, coming over the hill over here is a uh, clan unit preparing to attack us. I have no idea what's here though. Nice shade, looks like there's some copters. Anyways, a couple of our vehicles are just returning from a scouting mission. So hopefully they can come back and help us get these turrets back online. I didn't think we'd need them, but apparently we do. Alright, so, um, gonna hold off on using the mines just yet. Roger. Because I don't know where this next force is coming in from. Once we find that out, we'll go ahead and use them. But right now, I'm not going to bother. Uh, let's just use the regular mortar rounds. Uh, yeah, we'll use guided on this guy. Firing on target. So this is a three skull base defense against Clan um, Coyote. You have my attention. So we'll just see how this goes. I don't know. It's really going to depend Come on where on. the second, um, like once the first few turns have gone by where the, where the next two lances show up. So I was really unsure where our drop position should be. I put us in this valley here, just because if we were up on a hill, That's a miss. I mean we would have a good commanding view, but then the enemy would have a good commanding Waiting view to target us too. So, we can always move towards that if we have to. Uh, that's a direct line of sight there. So we got some updates. I think we had this last match. We got the Clan 6 mortars on a couple of our mechs now. So we got the three mortars back again, which is nice. Um, let's use standard round. So the mortar squad is back in play. So we got three... Um, let's get to here. We've got three uh, urban mechs now with mortars. One with a mortar 8, two with mortar 6s. Got the LRM version, we got the AC5 version, the uh, large laser version, and the Ultra 5 version. Um, sure, let's go this route. And then we brought the. Um, like, we're still looking for that last urban mech. We need one more urban mech. But we brought the. Uh, the uh, Hollander with us. Thought about bringing the uh, the Clint with the Thumper, but yes, Commander. It's really like when you're doing base defense missions, it really is iffy. You know where um, the enemies are going to show up from. It just all depends on where you drop, like or where you're capable of dropping. Keep on this guy here, I think. And yep. Fire. Have to worry about conserving ammo Ready in this match. I tried to outfit these guys so they have at least 10 turns of firing, continuous firing, because most, right, like, these guys are designed for base defense, so most of the missions I try and take are that. So at least we got, like, 10 turns of ammo. Alright, uh, yeah, cluster shot on this guy. We gotta get closer to those, uh, receiving you. here's the Ultra 5. I get closer Roger. to those aircraft to be Cold able to shoot speed. them down. I think we have SAM ammo on our LRM boat though. Oh, that's not a bad chance to hit there. I think we take that. Now we don't have a full uh, 10 turns of firing on this guy. But uh, it's, that, that's fine. Okay, we got one on. That's good. That's good. What can I do for you? Alright, Parrot, let's get up here. Oh, you've got airburst. Beautiful. Right, Commander. That's the 2C. The 2C was very disappointing, I gotta say. It's basically an urban mech with clan, gu clan guts. Special delivery. All right, a little bit of damage. Looks like some of it spilled over onto our turret too, which is kind of sucky. Ready for order. Got Unikumba back. So we're almost able to field our entire lance. All I gotta do is be able to upgrade the beta pod. Or the Gamma Pod, sorry, and then we'll be able to field the uh, one more unit. 
because we got uh, we got 11 on the field right now. So uh, once we get that last unit on the field, then uh, might as well warlord this. Hopefully we get one hit. There we go. Uh, yeah, we'll be able to field all 12 units, which will be nice, because we're definitely going to need that. This is a three skull base defense against the clans. I'm try. I'm going to try, and I know it's probably not going to be possible. It'll really depend on the mission that we take. I'm going to try and pull off before we finish this series off. I'm going to try and pull off a um, a. Uh, let's go here, I guess. I'm going to pull off a um, a tier five base defense. Most likely it'll be the one in the jungle, on the jungle map. Um, I have a feeling that that's probably our best chance of success because we start off up high, the buildings are really relatively segregated. Um, that's probably the best chance of success. Worst chance of victory would probably be the, oh, that's nice. The one in the lowlands where you start off kind of in the middle and the enemy could, could appear anywhere around you. You're on hills and they're probably, most of the time they're on hills when they start. Um, what else? The, the desert ones aren't too bad because we can, I mean, if we're laying mines, it's one thing, but, you know, I have to worry about yes, Commander. getting getting the, the ability to overheat them, which would work really well. All in but I think um, the jungle one is, like I said, is the best because we're up on, we're up on top. They're down below. Let's launch a explosive. Sure. Aye, aye. All right, no big deal. Negative damage. Repeat. And they Negative really don't damage. have, unless they're using missile weapons, they don't really have a chance to get the base. I'm, I'm Level expecting to lose that match. Just put it. Let me put it that way. With this, with this unit. Confirmed. Uh, I would be expecting to lose that match. The only way we'll win it is if the mines really take their toll. Pouncer. Balak, eh? That's not a bad chance. Mortar five on. We've got ten turns of we got eight turns of firing with this thing. Hold off on the mine dispensers. We could go on this guy. I think it's probably the best way to go. Bandit. That'd be nice to pick that up. That's got a lot of armor too, though. Pouncer. Uh, let's go on this guy, and I'm gonna warlord this. It's a side shot. Hopefully we can take his torso. Or leg, maybe. Not likely. No. That's fine. We got more guys though. So alright. Good to go. Okay, B feeder. Confirmed. We got an ER large and a mortar on here, so. Really bad chances to hit. Bad sensor roll, I guess. Do we have air burst? We do. So let's go on this guy. Roger that. Just because it'll splash over. Yeah, we did a little bit of damage to this guy, probably. Handful of points here or there. It's fine. Oh man, it's all gonna come down to where like generally. Not always, but generally I find at least 50% of the time the second set of enemies usually come where the first set is and then there's another random unit somewhere else. Or if it's going to be somewhere else, they all appear somewhere else. So I'm hoping they all appear somewhere else and then I can just flood that area with mines. And then we can wipe these guys out and let the mines take care of the rest. That's what I'm hoping. Oh, he's not shooting. Do you not have any available weapons? You do. Probably just trying to get sensors on everybody here. The dual AMS, man, I tell you, in the, in the five skull is totally going to save us. We're probably going to need yeah, to get another one in there, too. Let's move up here. Acknowledged. 42. 35. 42. 
27. Let's hang on to the rockets till later, but let's just open up. Let's just go with one shot in this guy. Because we have everybody else to shoot still too, right? So we might be able to take this ferret out. Come on, there you go. At least we're not between the turrets and the enemy now. There have been several times when I've had battles where it's like I drop in and then I'm between the turrets and the enemy and you know, the turrets start up and they just start shooting and sometimes they just hit you. Alright, uh... Commander. Mr. Boat de Life, let's get... You here? Coordinates received. And on this guy. ER medium. Yep, let's use the guided. The other thing that's really going to benefit us is using um, mortar, like acid ammo with mortars. So in the future, um, it'll be like laying the minefields with the mine dispensers and then have our mortar units use their acid ammo on the heavy mechs. Or they're like, they're like the heavier mechs. And then that way, um, when they walk over the mines, they take way more damage. On the move, full speed. So that's something else we have to be paying attention for in a five skull. Uh, do we have standard tandem and LK and thunder? Let's just shoot this load. Copy that. Excellent. One left target. It's two down. What are your orders, Skipper? Monsieur Lemon, the Meadow Lark. I'm rolling. Not so good. Mm, that's fine. Just fire at this guy, I guess. Affirmative. All right, few points. Standing by. Let's get up here. Rolling. Hope we have good turrets. All right, this guy. He's got so much armor, it's going to take forever to, to drop that guy. Hopefully the turrets can do something good. It is three skulls, so... Got a large pair of mediums and a machine gun. Okay. This looks like a Gauss rifle. Improved heavy Gauss rifle. Ooh. Let's not get between that and the, and the enemy. So how much damage does that do? Tell you. Tag barrage, narcolometer, ERLM5. Where's our last turret? One, two, three. That's a vehicle. I thought it was like back here somewhere. Just not see it? Oh, it's up here. Right there. No, right here. Machine guns and flamers. All right. Well, that's bad. I hear you. Okay. Aircraft duty. Aircraft duty. Air burst. Large laser firing. We need better targeting computers. Well, plus better pilots. I mean, some of these pilots are just new too, right? So. Waiting for orders. Let's not even move. Might as well do that now. 13%. Alright, what's the chance on the other guys here? 0.9. 9. Fire. Okay, he's panicking. What's up, boss? Hi, right, shop shooter. Moving to position. She's good in the cloud buster. But not that good apparently. We just don't have good sensors on, that's why. Negative damage. Repeat. Negative damage. Order. Find out in a minute, though, where, uh... Okay, can we go... Flak mode? Oh, yeah, that's a pretty good chance to hit. Let's crank that up, though. High explosive? Or infer... No. Yes. Firing. Nice hit.
Yeah, the, we had to leave that chaparral at home, one with the one with the arrow system in it. Come on, go down. I know it sounds the same, same as a regular glass, but that hitting the ground just sounded heavier. <laughs> Alright, after this turn is when the enemy shows up. That's a pretty good ATM damage. Good thing you're not shooting at my mechs. I'm going to try and maneuver myself so we're in trees and stuff here. If I can get in them before the next uh, enemy before the enemies arrive here, any enemy enemies, you know what I mean. On it. Come on. Inflicted some heavy damage. Just go down. I'm listening. I know part of the problem is we're in the valley. But when we start shooting mines at the enemy, we want to have the lowest chance to hit. I think we target this guy. We'll leave our uh, mortars to take care of the uh, the other guy here. Let's just get some solid damage on this guy if we can. Oh, we got one on him anyway. Well, what do you know? Mortar's not supposed to hit that guy, but apparently we did. Commander. Not going to complain. Knock up another kill for us. Uh, did we go with the rockets early? I think so. I want to try and clear this backside out. So let's also sensor lock this guy. Got a lock. Which I probably should have done earlier. It's fine though. Copy that. Trip off some of his armor. No short range missiles remaining. Waiting for twenty five to twenty eight percent of the way there. Uh, let's not even move. I'm gonna save those tandems for later. Uh, let's use the guided rounds. And uh, yep. Okay. Uh, yep. Monsieur Lemon de Metal Arc. Get up a little higher. Negate this guy's height bonus. Kind of terrified. Hope that those guys don't come in behind me here. Mm, let's just go with cluster. Six points. Well, better than nothing, I guess. Two hits. Two hits. I'm your spaniel. Onward. What is this? What is it with this guy and dogs? Incoming barrage. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get up a little higher with the ultra. On it. Eighty-three. Switch it to double fire, and let's give it to him. Excellent. Under half amount of armor now. Who's up? Waiting for orders. Our larges. Twenty percent, huh? Well. Acknowledged. Drunk from last night. You're firing at the shadow. Missed. Firing at the duplicate. Yeah, we need to get uh, um, enhanced optics on everybody, like uh, level three. That pouncer is just like, does not want to be here. Looks like he's overheating too. Waiting on you, Commander. Alright, let's not move. We got flare, guided, guided it is. He's getting close. But he's got to do something to him, though. Hopefully the turrets can finish him off. That's not bad. I want that heavy goss to land. Come on. 
Who's up? Oh, it's him. Nice. Ouch. So that's the uh, pulse laser, heavy improved Nine laser damage, version. We got a land. We got a uh, thing landing on him too. Receiving you. Can you target him? You can. I can't see, so I don't know where I'm shooting past. Got it. All right, a little bit of damage. Good to go. Switch back to indirect. Let's go HE. Copy that. Nice. Yes, he ejected. That'd be a nice hovercraft to pick up. Yeah, but where are they? Of course. Follow me to victory. Are they all over there? They are. You guys are fucked. Anova. What do we got here? Evan Jaguar. Nova. A Torn. Nova. Griffin. Valak LRM. Hellbringer. Alright, so we got some weighty mechs up there. Well, for us they are. Because we're all like 30 tons Dipper. here. 30, 35 tonners. Just in case someone decides to shoot missiles. Turn a little bit sideways here. Got a shot in this pouncer. And fire. I'm on him. Hopefully the our turrets keep on this guy, because I can't he's overheating though. Because I can't be I live to serve. going after that guy anymore. Uh, maybe we can. Maybe we go up the hill and fire. Like, if we go this way. Do that. Roger that. Uh, if we go up this way and fire back with the mines, that might help. Rather than going towards the enemy right now. Uh, let's warlord this now. Work on getting rid of this guy. Now we only have improved, right? We got tandem as well. Now I'll save that for vehicles. Target. We got a copter we can shoot it at. I want to try and get components off these guys. Not only do we need sea bills, but we'd like to get some good weapons too. Mm hmm. At least they're far enough away. Okay, who do we got? Tell me what you need. Let's get up here. Uh, yep. Confirmed. Wow, this is both the largest. Orders. Okay, we need to get mines up over here. They got to get through. So you need to go up this way. So we'll go up this way, we'll mortar the guy behind us, because as an urban mech we can do that. And let's go with... Do we want to start mortaring the guys in front of us though? Let's do this. He's out of, he's out of sensor lock range. Damn. Alright, we leave that off. Let's go... No, I want to get the mine dispensers going first. Let's just hit this guy. We got to get rid of him. Guided ammo it is. Alright, a little bit of damage. I should have probably used some acid if I had it, but... It's fine. That's the griffin? Okay. I don't want them to split up. Like, that's the thing. I hear ya. Get up here. This is going to be a tricky play, I think. Got it on this guy. Alright, a little bit. Every little bit counts. Ok, 
Okay, keep hitting them. Hopefully our turrets can uh, deal some good damage here. Okay, so if I go... Like, are they going to come through here? I don't know if they are. I gotta wait to see where they go. That guy went this way, so he might come around rather than going over. Gonna go with a single shot in this guy. Confirmed. No joke. Save a little bit of ammo. It's the only mech that we need to conserve a little bit of ammo on. Yes, Commander. Uh Get up here. Let's go. Okay, it's gonna help a little bit getting close to him, but mm. let's go with flare. Actually, can we sensor lock this guy too? We can. Got a lock. So I hope everybody else down here fit, like, follows up on this guy, like all the turrets and everything, and all the uh, other vehicles. Some flare on him, okay. Yeah, they're kind of making their way that way. Yes, Commander. The worst thing would be is if we uh, lay our mines down in front of them. And uh, they go in the opposite direction. So, gonna go with LK on this guy. Locking off. Because we're gonna be switching to Thunder shortly, so I might as well burn up the LK on this guy and get rid of him from our backside. Come on, shut down. Shut down. No? Ready for orders. Okay, let's back up this way. I'm gonna sprint up the hill next turn, but right now we're just gonna back up to here. Take a pot shot at this guy. Nope. He's like so hot right now, that guy. He's like hot as Hansel. That Hansel, he's so hot right now. Yeah, I don't know which way they're going. I think we kind of go... Well, once this guy decides what he's doing. I think we kind of go this way. And then we can play the mines back this way, probably. Commander. Normally I would have unloaded a ton of mines by now, but... We got so many mine dispensers, I'm not that worried about it. Locking on. Good to go. Acknowledged. Come on, hope you hit. Nope. That's a miss. Okay, that's the turret. Another turret. Goss heavy Goss can't fire at him. All right, well. Standing by. Got to get this guy out of here. We're not going to have very many turns to finish those other guys off, though. Uh, yeah, let's go this route. I'll make a pass. Only one laser hit. Pierced through the armor. Receiving you. Well, he ain't gonna be overheating anymore. Okay, we got eyes on these other guys now, too. Moving out. Oh, that's the chopper. Okay. Uh, do we just tan on this guy and get rid of him? Let's burn through it. Oh, 
plus ten. Reporting Heat. Critical hit. Is he still going? Yep. Out of SRMs. It's all right, man. You're out of position anyway. Okay, they got a vector. Ordered. I think we gotta start dropping LRMs here. Or, uh... Uh, I think we're still okay. I think we got this turn and we're then we're done. Let's go this route. Come on, finish him off. Still going. Inflicted bail, bail. Nah. I await your command. They're too cool. To, he's too cool to bail out. He's like, damn man, I ain't bailing. I ain't bailing shit. On the way. Enjoy the rest of these then. Come on. Ooh, that hit something. There you go. Ah, uh, you had an advanced fire control system we lost, but whatever. Don't think we really had that much of a use for it anyway. Okay, so. Those are the aircraft. Get to here. On my way. Alright, now. Um, Sixteen, eight. Air burst. Sensor lock. Balak is probably more of a threat. I've got a sensor lock. Thank you. Thank you very much. Ooh, that's a nice chance for the air burst. Roger. Excellent. They've both gone already, so we've got a bunch more airbursts we can drop over there, I think. Here comes that Griffin. I wish he was taking the line that everybody else was. Okay, so here's where our... The Ebon Jaguar's gone this way. What's up, boss? Don't have the ability to, uh... On my way. Mine dispensers need a great... Uh, great. A direct line of sight to be useful. Uh, let's just fire a single round. How many turns we got left? Six after this. So, yeah, I mean, we're getting pretty close on the ammo here. Let's go with this. Hopefully we hit. Yeah, we did. Nice. Not enough to kill, but hopefully an air burst will take care of them. I got. I, I think this is the first match I played with these guys where I haven't used mines right off the bat. Like it's we're five turns in and I haven't used any mines at all. He's got a freaking nidhog. Are you kidding me? Waiting on you, commander. Let's get Move up here. Position. This guy. Really? Alright. Oops. Crap. I thought that was going to cycle back. Well, at least it hit the aircraft too. We did some damage. I guess all we did was really piss them off. I actually meant to cycle, cycle back to this guy, but no biggie. Fuck, where are you going? Confirmed. This is not how you're supposed to play Solid into my commander. friggin' trap here. I mean, if they all go down that way and around, then that's fine. I got you. Standing by. Come on, the Cloud Buster is designed to shoot down aircraft. Let's do that. Roger that. There you go. Reporting vehicle destroyed. So the Evan Jaguar went this way. So they're going to come down here. Thorn, they're all splitting up. All right. 
I guess we just take a target and shoot at it. Oh, it's coming back up. Okay. Don't think we're going to get very many with mines this this uh, match because we're already on turn six here. Okay, let's get up here. We're going to keep advancing up the hill. But let's uh, target this uh, Balak here. ER. And Lerms. Alright, here we go. Ooh, five hits. That's not bad. Commander. Yeah, you... Might as well fire some HE while we can. Uh, Griffin, maybe? Wow. What if we go Flak? Do we have range with Flak on the, uh... Balak? We do. Copy that. Alright, well. A little bit of damage. Didn't do as much as I thought it would. All right, well. Yes, I hear you. You are sorely out of position, girl. I'll make it happen. Sure. I'm taking the shot. Handful of damage. Not shoot me. And our AMS is finally getting some work. Standing by. Okay, you got mortar with flares and a large laser. Let's get over here. I think you've got some airburst left, don't you? Still trying to find mortar ammo. There we go. Confirmed. I finally got to a planet where I was able to pick up some a couple tons of standard ammo and a couple tons of half tons, like half ton standard ammo. Damn it. Just stop. That's the thorn, right? Yeah, what are these guys doing? Oh, okay, good. Yeah, 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 yeah. I mean, not because of the damage, but because we can finally lay some mines right on his ass. All right. Um, Receiving you. Here we go. On my way. Sub doc. Here it comes. All right. SRMs. How out. do we do? Good. That's actually a pretty good roll there. Commander. Outcast. You want thunder? Oops. There we go. I'll give you thunder. Let's uh, censor this guy for everybody else. Locked on. And drop the thunder in here with this guy. Firing Have fun walking through that. You dick turd. Okay, he's coming up towards there too, which is nice. Shit, that's a lot of damage. That's a lot of damage. Oh, and he shut down. So that's the left side is a little better. Got it. Like that. And you can take two shots. And all the mines. Enjoy it. I'm 
out of SRM. Ooh, laid them all in the same area. Did we spill over? We spilled over onto this guy. It's going to be interesting to see what happens when this guy moves. So if you're ever wondering, like when I had a uh, triple mine or triple um, mortar four lay mines on me, Ready for orders. I was playing a lance that had no ability to detect the mines. So if you ever want to know if they're laying mines on you or not, the best way to do it way. is watch the spread Double pattern. Because the spread pattern of the ammo landing, if it's all over the place, like if it's all around your guy, like in random spots, rather than kind of in one location, you not have range. The AMS is in range. Really? So yeah, if it like lands like around it like this in different locations like this, then it's a minefield. If it clusters in relatively the same area, it's, it's not. Unless you've got a really good pilot. Oh yeah, enjoy the mines. Ow. You need to fuck off. What are your orders, Skipper? We need to get target on this griffin here. How did he see me? He didn't barely see us. Okay. That's fine. That's all right. You deal with this. Lower the chance to hit, the better. My short range missiles are out. Yeah, you clustered them real nice, what though. What can I do for you? Uh, let's get you here. Save some of that armor. Let's get some air burst on this guy. We still got lots, so we're good. We're gonna need it for the uh the nid hog too. Nice. You like that? Nope, I don't think he does. Waiting for order. No sir, he doesn't like it. Let's get up the hill. Got it. Nidhog, what do we got? 7%? Yeah. 47. Who's. Oh, this is the guy that shut down. Yeah, man. Okay. Yes, Commander. Alright, well. Might as well just get on this guy now. Nothing. Nothing. Reporting negative damage. That's all right. I'm gonna drop a uh, inferno around that guy. So the Evan Jaguar is that 50 tons? What? How? What's the weight on that? 940 armor. It's 55 or something. 60 tons. 55. Standing by. There we go. Get up here. Roger that. Full speed. Full sprint. Warlord. Changing this to Inferno. Indirect fire. Right here. Let's just keep this guy toasty. Here it comes. Well. Close. Got the one guy, the Nova there. I want that thing to land at least once today. Just once is all I want for that thing. Alright, let's see what they do. This guy goes first, probably. Yep. 48, 48. Can't tell how much armor. They got good stealth. I'm listening. They got good stealth. Stealths. Stealthy motherfuckers. Now I could launch my uh, mine dispensers, but I want to wait till we see what these guys are doing. I'll probably 
drop them on this guy when he gets a little closer, but let's take a shot at this guy. I'll do what you ask. Nice. Yo, Mofo, we know you there. Man. I don't think they got the juice to take down all the buildings they need to Ready take down to orders. win. But they certainly uh, can do some damage. Position confirmed. If left alone, so. Let's get an airburst on this Nidhog if we can. We got two rounds left for airburst. Let's use it up. Nothing. That's fine, whatever. AC2 ammo depleted. Yeah, yeah. We gotta get you some fast cam. I don't know where we're gonna do that though. Short of finding like a mortar carrier with like uh fast cam ammo. We got lucky right off the bat with the with the uh urban mechs that we found. Oh. Fuck me. Damn it. I'm wounded. Order. Okay. This guy's pretty threatening right now. Drop the thunder around him. That's the Nidhog shooting some of the thunder down. Good to go. Can't shoot Good this bird. down though. But you can see what I mean, like if I try a five skull with this group. It's going to be tough. Like, beyond tough. How are you doing here? Almost lost your leg. Let's drop it on you. God, it's such a tough choice. Like, do I... The Shadowhawk's got to die, but that Nidhogg is like... But he's fixated on the base, so let's go after the Shadowhawk. I'm there. As long as he stays fixated on the base, we should be okay. I'm gonna gauge this guy. Let's go with Cluster, better chance to hit. Firing. Engage, target. Waiting for orders. Okay, get to here. Going full throttle. Yeah, I think I made a mistake bringing these handful of guys over to the other side. So this one is going to go this way. On you. Firing. Okay, he took a head hit, but he's okay. Waiting on you, Commander. Keep our mortar facing you away from it. that guy. Let's go right here. Let's go on this guy. Time to die. All out of SRMs, Commander. Okay. Now I think we back up after this. For I mean the. They're still in range of that base, though. They can just shoot the base whenever they want. Crap, this guy's going around the uh, mines. One of our structures has been eliminated. I may have spoke too soon about uh, whether or not we could hold them off. We're definitely gonna, not going to have a decisive victory here, but... Uh, at least these guys are like the Hellbringer. And who's this back here? Mad Dog. Oh. Okay, he took 21 landmines. Orders. Let's go to here. Aye, aye.
Let's just shoot this guy. Here it comes. Okay, whatever. Man, we're really out of position here. Battle mech power up detected. Ready for orders. So you lost your right side, so we can move Location down and confirmed. brace and hold the left side. We can bring you back up. They'll probably shoot missiles at you. Let's hope that's what the Griffin does. If we can hit the Griffin with the LRMs here. Good to go. Okay, so you. I'm gonna park you right here. I think we need to go with Inferno on this guy. Confirm. Okay, well, at least he's taking some heat. Did he? I don't know, he's not in a hex with heat anyway. Yes, Commander. Now you... 20%, eh? Man, our targeting is so bad. This is a night fight too, so we're it's like probably messing with our vision. See if we can make this guy unstable. And if we can, Firing. hopefully the guys that go before him next turn can capitalize on his instability. Come on, I need you to land at least once. Okay. Yes, I hear you. Let's not give him a clean shot, your CT, I guess. Got two mine dispenser 15s, though. Do I use them on Buddy over here, though? How much is it really going to do? Such good chances to hit, too. Although I think... I think we shoot this guy. Copy that. I know we were talking about capitalizing on the uh, on the Griffin. Let's go to here. Let's do... Let's hold off on the sensor lock till next turn. Wow, really? Copy that. Okay, some illumination anyway. Gotta get away from that helicopter. He's driving me nuts. Okay, at least he's backing up. Still shooting though. Missed at least. Commander. Okay. On the move. Let's go here. This guy can enjoy at least a little bit of thunder. I think the Nidhogg shot some of that down. No LRM remaining. Oh, no, guess not. Yeah, I think if we had gone up the hill and stayed there, and then when those guys appeared, moved over and attacked them instantly, ow. If we had moved over and attacked them instantly with all of our minefields. They put a hole in my armor. Yeah, it's fine. Everyone's got holes in their armor. Like, as soon as they appeared, if we had kind of come up this way and laid the minefields right away, this may be a different battle, but they what are kind of spread you? out right now, so... Uh... Chances to hit, man, they're just tanked. Move. 
Moving out. Okay, let's focus on this guy. Go with guided, I guess. It's the best we have. Okay, nice and stability. Pilot hit, nice. Drops his initiative. So we have a chance to drop this guy now. Or at least knock his ass over. That's going to be helpful. They could still win this. I know this is a risk, but it's a risk we got to take. See if you can put this guy's ass on the ground. Then maybe the, uh, the improved uh, Gauss rifle, heavy Gauss rifle, will be able to do something to this guy. I'm out of short range missile. That is it. That's what the, the the turret decides to shoot for. The minefields are just a little far back. I wonder how this guy's doing. Almost lost one leg. All we gotta do is drop a minefield at his feet. Aye, aye. Let's give it to him then. Actually, let's uh, sensor lock you. Sensors locked on. So if anybody else wants to shoot at him after we're done. Got him. Come on. Nope, but at least if he moves next turn, he's done. Ready wow, rock. he'll fall over anyway. Okay, gonna move between me and the urban mech. Or the griffin and the urban mech, that is. Get this on him. And hopefully we knock his ass down. What's the slug chance? Nah, I need as many pellets on this guy as possible. That should be the knockdown. My SRMs are out. Wow. Commander? Okay, apparently not. That could be though. Acknowledged. That could be. Take the shot. We gotta delay, delay, delay. Did that say pilot? Okay. I thought it said pilot unconscious, but I think it said uh, pilot in injury ignored. Yeah, shoot the urban tanks. They got lots of armor. Ah, uh, just plink that leg. That's all you need to do, plink the leg. So this, they got guys back here that are just out of the battle. Come on, Thorn. Yeah, he's lost legs. He must have taken a crap, yeah. He must have taken a crap ton of leg damage moving in there. I'll check him in a second. Yeah, he did. He's just not moving because he knows he, can, knows he can lose his legs. Receiving you. Okay, now. Such a terrible chance to hit. They got such good ECM, this guy though. Hope for a leg shot. Apparently not. Ready for orders. Okay, let's get some heat over here. I know you're hot. Excellent. Enjoy the heat, buddy. Reporting critical hit. 
orders. Go after that leg, or do we go after this guy? He's like really hot, though. Like, we can probably this guy's probably da this guy's more dangerous to our mech, so let's go after him for now. Here goes the leg. Torso. Take what we can get when we can get it. Yeah, shoot the griffin! I know you can see this guy better, but... I'll bail out. Oh, this guy's mad. Come on, run at me. Charge me. Yeah, he's taking a little bit of damage from the mines because he's not moving very far. Okay, the Nidhogg did take some from the, the uh, barrage. Okay. Who's up? Standing yeah, by. you need to get the hell out of there. Go to here. I'll do what you ask. It's not perfect, but we'll fire on this guy. Get these guys into play. And here we go. That's last last of my mortar rounds. Got his foot. Okay, minefield, good location. My ammo's dry on multiple weapons. Got a knockdown. Okay, so we have two guys on the ground. Griffin, who is back up again, who we should probably run away from. <laughs> Maybe I send the Cloudbuster in there. Yeah. Uh, you got fast cam still, right? Um, let's get it on the Nova. I come. That way, hopefully, if he moves around there, it'll take uh, a fair bit of damage. I think we got a little bit of thunder left in the uh, LRMs too. That guy's out of play. He's he's not even going to get to shoot this this match. Confirmed. Monsieur Lemo, um, shit. If we move, we leave this. We hang this guy out to dry. Gotcha. You go on twenty. Might be able to OP that guy. Okay, so you I've got a lot of leg armor left. I'm thinking of salvage now. Cause I don't think they can win this match. But you Hopefully we just get the leg. Here we go. Got the leg. There you go. Enemy eliminated. What's up, boss? Gotta get them clown XLs. Move here. I got Give me. the Griffin something to shoot for. Rather than just oh it's, yeah, you can see the Griffin, okay. Rather than just my guys over there. So we've got what do we got left for ammo? Standard, Inferno. Go with Inferno. I'm gonna shoot at this guy here. I'm gonna go after this leg. Uh, I know this doesn't really matter, but sensors locked on. Just out of principle and good practice. Do this, do this, and do this. Locked on target. Large laser hit. Added a bit of heat to this guy. I think I hit something good. With a large pulse. And he's sitting in fire. We did hit the leg, so that's nice. Yeah, you back up. You back up. Oh. Didn't know you could still hit the base. <laughs> I thought he couldn't see it from over there. Yes, Commander. Alright, um... We are out of... The good stuff. Tandem or standard?
Maybe we get lucky. Okay, I'm interested here. So we got 37. Does this just work for the the person in the mech, or does it work for I've everybody? Sensor like lock. a sensor lock. Does that help? It does help our sensors. No, it doesn't. It doesn't do a damn thing. I guess if we're direct line of sight, it does. Sure as frig does. Wait, where are my ER mediums in the arm? Okay, so we can give them the arm. Good to go. Let's give them a whole bunch of FU. Ooh. Enemy down. That's an FU if I've ever seen one. Will be done. Hit hog. See them both from there. So our MRMs are torsoed. So we need to show. It's gonna make us unstable if they do shoot at us. But I think we're okay here, though. Well, not the best. We're gonna go after this leg. Come on, bail out. Solid connection on that one. Waiting for orders. Let's just keep you down here, just in case we need your medium laser a little later on. Sorry, in case we need your medium laser next turn. One turn left for this. So I think we can probably get... Depends on what the Nova does. That's it. That's him gone. I hear ya! Like, those mines work so well against light mechs. And they can work really, really, really well against medium mechs. The thing that you have to do, though, is um, make sure you lay them super thick in one area. We've got two guided rounds left. Let's go with Inferno. Come on, come on, come on, bail. Want some more? Huh? Don't think he does. Got reinforcements coming in one turn. This guy should bail out of here while you still got the chance. Come on, blow his legs off. Nope, looked like 28 damage though. We managed to handle this instability on this standing on these rocks. Damage is light. Okay, so you have no idea. Yes, Commander. Keep trying. Okay, we got the left leg. That hit something good. Is that the one I was shooting for? Yeah, it was, right? Left leg, yeah. Right on the screen, left on the body. Commander. Can you shoot from there? You can. No point in moving. Did we get the guy in the ground? Oh, he's right here. Come on. Locking on target. Damn it! I want salvage. We lost an Ultra 5 out of this. I need good salvage. Do we... Yeah, I think we just lost... Well... 47% chance. Wait a little more. Yeah, give me the ability to shoot at other people next turn. Let's see if we can get them. Nope. Oh. Nope. Scored a critical hit. Still not bailing out though. Guy's got balls of steel. Oh, he's gonna do something this turn though. Not with that heat, you're not. Oh. He's losing his leg by moving. Or maybe he's just gonna stand still. I think. That's probably it. Usually it meant when you, see, when you see the mech doing this that they were going to move and then lose their leg. We'll see. Nope. Oh, he loses stability though. Down to one of three. There goes the engine. God damn it. You guys. 
Fucking allies. That Goss hasn't hit the whole match. Got one more round after this. You better hit. That's all I gotta say. You have my attention. Do I? So we got our right side is okay. Copy that. Present right armor. Oh. <laughs> All right. Let's. Uh. Yeah, man. I think we just shoot him. I'll make it happen. Okay, who's going first? Is it the no? But no, he goes on sixteen, which means we got a bunch of shots we can lay on that guy. That guy's still back there. Um. Uh, I think you're good like that. Are we completely out of ammo? Really? We're comp oh we're jammed. Because of course we fired the tandem. Firing. Damn it! Yeah. That's my bad. Although we did secure the kill with it, so I guess it's worth it. I think we saved people up here. Good to go. By killing that Griffin, he was really hammering people. Okay. Confirmed. I can afford to lose the left side of an urban mech. Well, most of them, not all of them, but not the right side. So we go Inferno, or do we go? Let's go Inferno. Locked on. Ah, I missed the laser. I don't know. I think we need more indirect rep more indirect weapons and better targeting. I don't know how we're going to get better targeting, though. Unless we can get a Mark III um, optics for all of our uh, mechs. Which I, I'm, I can't find with these guys. Having a really hard time finding anything good. Ready for orders. Okay, you got the fast gams. Firing. I know it won't make that much difference, but if he decides to move forward or something, maybe we got enough damage in the legs. Negative damage. AC2 ammo depleted. He's gonna survive that round, this this guy. Okay, keep the left armor pre presented. Presentation par uh, armor de. What's left again? Gauche. Right is droit. Oui. A gauche, a droit. Skipper. It's been a while since I've had to remember right and left for French. Uh, cluster. Firing. This guy. Don't have enough guys Waiting for it. On you, Commander. There's no point in moving. Got a better chance to hit if we don't. All right. Um, guided it is. Roger that. Firing on target. AC2 magazines are empty. I'm wondering if three skulls is going to be our max. Well, I guess against clans, three skulls might be the max. Depending on the map. If we face these guys in the jungle terrain, it would be a different... We would have smashed them. Being able to see them, like these guys back here, being able to see them with the direct line of sight to be able to get the mine dispensers on them. See, he took 12 landmines from one square or from one hex movement. So this Nidhog has got... Yeah, it's still got max armor. Orders. Okay, so... Well... Let's go all in. Let's just go all in. You never know. Locking on. We're not going to get him anyway if we don't go for it this way. I think we got a better right. chance if we do it this way. 47. Come on. 
All in. Firing on target. No. Oh well, Order. we had to try. Let's just shoot him then. Let's just shoot him. Roger. Solid connection on that one. Who's up? Standing by. There you go. Get the last shot in. <laughs> Maybe not the last shot, but one of the last shots for us. 23%, let's hope you hit. Firing. Yeah, man, leg shot. Fine. My mech is overheating. Let's hope that large that goss hits it doesn't. Oh well. It was nice having it on our side though, even though it did absolutely no damage. There it is, folks. Let's head home. Successful. Yeah, I think before before we try a uh, a higher skull mission, I'm gonna need to get some uh, definitely fast cam mortar ammo for the two other uh, mortar mechs that we have. So we did take a bunch of damage. We lost the ultra five, which okay. I can put something else in there. Don't know why yet, but we can put something else in there. I think I got an AC ten or something I can drop in. Um, we have a lot of large lasers now. I was hoping that they would be better for targeting, but I think a lot of the problem is not having the right targeting computers for a lot of these guys. The, being at night, too, really killed us. I don't think a lot of our mechs have night vision, so... Wow, four Evan Jaguar pieces. 65 tons, okay. Ice Ferret Prime, the whole mech. Be nice. Nova parts. But really we're going to be running all um, all urban mechs so there's no point. Although ATM6, I don't know. ER PPC clan. Don't know how we're going to sink that heat. Uh, LRM15s. We don't have any. Pulse lasers, no. Streaks, no. Tags are another possibility. Actually, we should probably go right down to the bottom and see what we've got in the way of cockpit gear. Clan XLs, I think we have some, don't we? We don't. Well, there's two easy choices. So, standard fire control system clan does not have night vision. Three Clan Pharaoh, regular Guardian ECMs. That's the other thing too. I think we got to get an RMX is Guardian ECMs. Heavy Pharaoh. Nothing really great down here. Slick Sweet. Bonus initiative and sensor range and sight range for the Lance. Bonus and tactics. Let's grab that. Okay, so question three and a half tons for an ATM. Like we're limited for weight and very few of our mechs can carry missile weapons. What about laser weapons? Is there anything really good up here? Battle computer stuff is a possibility. Medium heavy laser. The short range though. Large Pulse Laser Thunderbolt, 32 heat, 25 damage times 3. So it's like basically like 3 medium lasers with bonus chance to hit. Let's grab that. That actually looks pretty good. The clan, what's the diff? So this one is 840 meters, 37 heat, 51 damage. So the same modifiers. Clustering is applied. 25 damage times 2. Oh, I see. So it's a double shot as opposed to a triple shot. So it's like two medium lasers then that shoot out to maximum 600 meters. So maybe that's not... Well, it is bonus accuracy though. Would I, would I rather go with two chances to hit with a little higher damage 
or three chances to hit with a little less damage. I just I find the pulse lasers like if we're not hitting, then these are good. Six tons. Thirty. I got I gotta sink the heat. That's the problem. The reason why I'm going with large lasers is there are only twenty four heat. I can sink that heat. That's not so bad. But an ER PPC requires a double heatsink kit, and then if I'm running a small engine, I need a shit ton of double heatsinks in order to flush it out. Which I usually don't have the space for. Because I've already got one clan ER PPC and I haven't used it because I haven't been able to get it in into anything. ER mediums, we've got two of these. We've only got a limited mechs with missile capability. We could replace the two MRMs with two ATM sixes. We'd be dropping eight barrels, but increasing the damage per barrel and accuracy. So if we do that, I need ammo then. So do I have? We've got two regular ATM ammo. How much HE ammo do we have? Two. So I don't need ammo. We've got ammo for these. That's a really good possibility to replace the MRMs with. But what's the heat? Twelve. That's 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 all right. Twelve heat's fine. We can sink that. I think good targeting. Patchwork materials is another option. I'll drop that in. Actually, I think I'm gonna take the patchwork because I think I got a couple of urban mechs with not completely full armor. Like we're just missing a bit on the back. Although there's two guardian ECMs, one and a half tons. I'd rather go with the clan ECMs if I can get them. Ah, there's just such like you're dealing with 30 ton max. You're really dim dealing with limited uh, limited space for everything. Clan active probes are nice. Bonus to detection, but I think I would rather go with um, like I, I would rather go with a guardian ECM over bonus to detection. And my reason being is because minefields. Um, you don't want to hit the target, you just want to lay the minefield, because the more targets, more missiles that hit the target, or more rounds that hit the target, the less they hit the ground and spread. So you would rather go with a Guardian ECM to protect yourself from being shot at, and then just hide behind a hill while you're just dropping mines on them. So maybe we do grab these two, and uh, try to find a way to work them in, and we would drop out this. So let's grab the two Guardian ECMs. I, know, I gotta find a way to work it into my, work them into the builds. I guess I'd have to like start pulling medium lasers and stuff if we have them. I don't know. We'll see how it goes. Okay, we got a Balak part, Evan Jaguar part, some Thorn parts, all for sale, pretty much. You are small, not bad. We'll hang on to that. Medium heavy, we'll definitely hang on to. We got two of them. We're not gonna use that many. Let's just drop that. Drop that one. Streak two can go. Two tags, that's nice. Battle computer heat, that's actually really nice. If we use a battle computer, we can sink the heat. 110, 120, we'll both hold on to. 250, we don't need it. Regular XL engine, we don't need it. I'm going to hang on to both of those. Heavy Pharaoh, yes please. Omnipod ham, we don't need. Structure can go away. LRM, we've got four. And streak ammo can go. So we didn't make out too, we didn't make out too bad on that run. Yeah, that turned out well. So I think what I gotta find now is mortar, more mortar fast cam and more mortar acid ammo. I think the acid is gonna be the key. I just ditched the standard ammo, use acid. If I got guided, great. Uh, and fast cam. I think those are what we have to go for. Because honestly, like, nice it's such a, it's such a, it's such a tricky thing, right? Like, let's just repair this guy real quick. I'm, I'm sure I showed you this. So if we go in and refit the, the Mac, right? This is the guy with the uh, Ultra 5 that we lost. So, first of all, you're dealing with limited limited um, limited hard points, right? So we've got one ballistic and one laser. So that right there is a problem. And then the Klein XL is, you know, really great to save us. But then you're dealing with weight issues, right? So, 
Like, how do you... Like, this is 11 tons already. LBX-5. Like, the Ultra-5 was... Where is it here? We got Ultra-5s. Like, 9 tons, right? So I can go ahead and replace the Ultra-5. But still, it's 9 tons. Like, it's, like, ridiculous, right? So we lost a heat sink, Ultra-5. Now, there's no way... Like, this is, like... I need 6 heat sinks in here. There's no way... I can put an XL engine here to, to up the uh, the firepower unless like if we wanted to go with for instance like the snub PPC we could do it on this guy but you can see the problem already right my dispenser heat we can ignore so I would switch this around and then we would go with got our pirate rotary that's too heavy. Rotary 2, too heavy. AC2, clan, 7 tons, too heavy. You know what I mean? It's just, and then at that point, you're down to machine guns and stuff for a ballistic or a mortar. If we got a light mortar, that would work too. Then I got mortar 2s, which are 2 tons, which isn't really giving us much, right? It doesn't really apply much. So, it's such a tough... Such a tough choice. My dispensers have to stay. So let's say we, let's say we dropped a mortar too, and I'm just going to just play with this just for a second. Yeah, to give you guys an... <laughs> I'm sure you know what I'm up against here, but... It's like... So we want to use, like, let's say a half ton of Inferno. And then let's say... Like, air burst is always good. What do we got? Three tons left. Uh, let's get a full ton of something. Just for the sake of argument. Just so we got this. That's way more than we'll ever need. Like, this is what? 40 shots? 20 turns? So, I mean... We would choose two, let's say for the mortar too. We would choose two tons of ammo. And then, like, if we go... I guess... <laughs> the weird thing is, is I have so much stuff with these with this playthrough, and I can't use most of it. So, we would drop in, like, let's say we drop in a Clan Guardian ECM, because we want to be out in the open to be able to shoot the enemy. And then we do... Uh, do we have a battle computer? We do. Fire control system advanced. So we could probably drop in the pirate one. Right? And then we could do... Plus one energy. And minus ten heat. And we're still, we still can't take it. Well, that's, that's because these my dispensers put out a lot of heat, right? That's 18 heat for the two mine dispensers. So take that off of there for continuous firing. So we're looking at 33. So we're perfect. We're in perfect sync here. I mean, we could run this way and see what happens. We're not short of heat sink either. I mean, I could drop one heat sink as well. It's still underpowered. It's still totally underpowered. And this, that, then this messes with the, uh, this will destroy minefields. I don't know, man. It's fun to figure out, though, I gotta say. It's like, it's fun to try and figure out what the hell you're gonna do to compensate for what you have. It really is, and I, and with the Urban Max, I'm I'm really finding that the mort the uh, mortars are the best thing to go with. So do we have any ultra? We don't have any Ultra Five ammo, so we're done with Ultra Fives. How much is the Ultra Twenty way? See, thirty percent chance chance, but the it's not really the Ultra Twenty that you you want out of it 
because you, the amount of ammo that you'd have to throw in there to make it viable, like a double load of Ultra 20 is six turns of continuous firing. You prefer going with a regular Ultra 20 or a regular 20 and firing once a turn. Although, the, I mean, you could go with, we have a general AC-10, we don't. So the AC-10 I think is 10 tons, is it not? Or it's 12, I think. Got the LBX-10 though. That's 11, and we're already over. Do we have any LBX ammo? That's the question. LBX-10 cluster. One ton, of clu bleh, one ton of cluster is 10 shots, right? So we need to take off two tons. The case two would have to come out. Then we would have to go, which really sucks because that's what saved this mech the last time, is the case two. Clan Pharaoh and one of the heat sinks. So minus 18 off that. Yeah, we're up against 20 something. What's the heat on this? Six. We're operating at 26 heat. Which is fine. Or we'd have to pull a Guardian. I think moving forward though, I'd have to put a Guardian ECM in almost all of the mechs. At least anything that's going to be like facing, like staring at the enemy for, for a few seconds, like this guy. That's a 720 meter range too, so that's probably better. Only 10 turns of firing though. I don't know, I gotta think about this one. But that's the conundrum, and that's one one of the reasons why I love playing the Urban Max, because it's like Yeah, okay, so the Urban Urban Max is a trash can, everybody makes a joke about it and stuff. But trying to limit yourself just to this chassis, like I, and you can for that matter, you can choose any mech. Right, choose Spider, for instance, the 30 ton Spider. Or choose a Panther, for instance, and just choose the Panther chassis, and that's all you're allowed to use is a Panther chassis. Finding them is a little harder, I think. If you're gonna go with Panther, you have to spend your time in uh, Torian Concordat or something like that, wandering around trying to get as many Panthers as you can, but um, Urban Mech's hard enough to get pieces for, but at least you can find full lances of Urbies that'll drop, which is nice because you can get tons of pieces in one shot. but it's it's the challenge of staying with just a, the chassis type right and yeah you can use any type of variant inside that chassis type but I, I just really enjoy that trying to find the right balance and make it work and then push your lance as far as you can go right do as much damage to the enemy as possibly can as far as you can go so that was a three skull base defense we won but could have easily been a loss could have easily been a, com a like a total victory too, depending on how it rolls out, right? So, but anyway, I'm gonna leave this episode here. Hope you guys enjoyed it as much as I did. Uh, if you guys have any comments, please drop them in the comment section down below. Also, don't forget to drop a like if you enjoyed the video. Until next time, we'll see y'all later.